Thank you for allowing us to present our findings. Today we'll be discussing the risk of urinary retention after fascial sling placement in the setting of concomitant prolapse repair. We have no relevant disclosures. Autologous fascial slings are often considered as a salvage procedure for stress incontinence in the setting of prior failed incontinence procedures. This is partially due to the perception that they are associated with an increased risk of urinary retention, and this may prevent surgeons from using it as an initial intervention. Many prolapse procedures are done in conjunction with incontinence procedures. We aim to examine the rates of transient urinary retention after fascial autograft autologous fascial sling placement. We compared the rates of retention between autologous fascial sling placement with and without a concomitant prolapse repair. We hypothesized that patients with combined procedures are at a higher risk for urinary retention. We performed a retrospective review of all autologous fascial slings performed by a single surgeon from August of 2016 to 2020 of October and examined the postoperative retention rates. We defined retention as the need for clean intermittent catheterization for more than two weeks postoperatively. As you can see here, we had a higher rate of transient postoperative urinary retention in our cohort that had concomitant prolapse repair however, did not have statistically significant difference. In both groups, we had one patient that required sling incision. Both were able to void after this procedure. We found a higher rate of retention in our group that had concomitant prolapse repair. However, these differences were not statistically significant. We hypothesized that this is possibly due to the change in anatomic alignment of both the anterior compartment as well as the urethrovesical junction. We're limited by our small sample size, as well as the retrospective nature of our data. So in conclusion, in our cohort, concomitant prolapse repair with autologous fascial sling placement did increase the rate of transient postoperative urinary retention. We did, however, find that the overall risk of retention was low at less than 2%. This further provides reassurance for surgeons counseling patients of perioperative risks following autologous fascial sling placement, both with and without concomitant prolapse repair. Thank you.